I don't want to. Yes, this is now we have to make a video about it. No. Why not? Because <laughs> I don't want to. But Kim, listen, it's important. Because it no, matters. No, Eric, I'm not going to listen to you. You just want me. I mean, whatever you call it. <laughs> So what's wrong with wanting? Look, Nothing. it's not a matter of wanting anything, Kim. It's just, just a matter. It's a matter of taking. Why don't you guys all just talk about it and I'll stay out of it? Why did you say? Why that? don't? <laughs> why don't you write down what she would say in a vacuum? If there, if you could say anything to her, with no concerns for any repercussions, and then we'll have Jane read it in a video. Jane can deliver some. Oh, spice. Jane's here. Why doesn't Jane do it for me? Oh, Jane, Jane we need you to go on a shit-talking monologue. I've already made her call. Look, a couple guys. Of you made her call? Yeah, yeah, it was fun. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, you guys. Why do you look stressed, Eric? Because I am not about cruelty, you know? I, I just say it. I, I, Excuse me, I, but you're okay about receiving You say that, you say okay that as you laugh about, about reading her... I'm, I look okay. The thing is, Kim feels very disrespected. Okay, well, Jane is another woman. I'd like her perspective on this, just for so I know. Jane, Kim would like your perspective on whether it's Doing disrespectful to send. Can we start recording now? I'm starting. Just start. Already started. Okay. Well, whether it's disrespectful for a woman to send me a letter, no, especially since she stayed with me and Kim before. She stayed in our house before. With Spacey, and uh, do you think it's disrespectful of her to send a letter to me? That a letter? This is not a letter. This is a novel. That's very pro probably complimentary about me, but not explicitly about me. But makes it something mm -hmm. everyone has to wonder. It's, it's, it's rambling, rambling nonsense. nonsense. It's, it's not like it's very, very coherent at all. The idea of it is absolutely disrespectful. The execution of it, however, leaves a little something to be desired. True. Okay. I mean, do you think it would, it's poorly executed because why? Because it's nonsense and gibberish. There are, were there, was there a, a complete sentence in that 12-page novel? No. Um, How many personalities were involved in that one letter? I mean, come on. That is it's textbook crazy, that thing. It's, it's like, like Sybil wrote that. that. Well, I mean, I would call it NI grip state stuff. Like You know, it, the, the letters, it, it's just, I feel like it's a little bit taunting toward me. At the same time, I, my it, it all comes down to, I do not want her showing up at my door again. I said that the first time, and, and she showed up again unannounced. I think that she should get the authorities involved if she shows up again. Thank you. And Eric says no. Well, you know the number for 911. I do. Okay, well, look, guys. Of course. All I'm saying is let's not... Let's not... Involve the cops. That's what you said to me. Yeah. That's a general golden rule. They might shoot your animals. They might shoot your animals. They're, you know, normal now is a pretty big kitten. That could scare a cop to death, practically. So that's why I, I would probably wait <laughs> to call the cops. <laughs> I probably wouldn't call the cops real soon if I were you guys. Yeah, I try to avoid calling the cops in general, but that's that's just because once the cops get involved, all of a sudden you've got a wild card that has more power than you. Right, but the thing is, is she she shows up and she shows up buttering you up with gifts. Okay, Kim, will you relax? I'm not going to let her come in or whatever. I'm going to say, Brittany, you can't come here. If, if... She, said, well, but she, left she, she shows up here and she knows nobody, nobody wants to talk to her. her. She, she doesn't, doesn't care whether you want her there or not. Okay, I will accept the gift, but then I will send her on her way. <laughs> That's fair. That's legit. Yeah. If it's a nice gift. If it doesn't, I mean, it's stuff. The economic transaction is not related to the social one. What if it's rabbit stew, Eric? I don't want any rabbit Or what if it's chicken stew on your, on your stove one day? You come home, Brittany's been to visit, and there's a bunch of chicken soup on the stove, Eric. That's in your future. Right? <laughs> okay, now if that happens, I'll call the cops. 
<laughs> if we come home one day and Brittany's in the kitchen making soup. From my chickens. That's <laughs> what she's saying. Oh, you hope she's killed the chickens? <laughs> well, yeah, they would have definitely called the cops. But the thing is, I don't think that there's... there's he, she's not done anything to work to warrant calling the cops. Knocking on your door uninvited is not is not justification for calling the cops. Um, it's a little stalkery. It's a little stalkery, yes. A little bit. If it, if it happens again when she knows that Kim doesn't want her to, then it is a problem. I agree. I'm not saying it's not a problem. I'm just saying it's still probably not a crime. No, but if she ha won't listen to the residents when they tell her they, they don't want her to show up, she shows up anyway. What is your what is your recourse? So you need three incidents tell on reports. Go away. I'll tell her to go away. If she this would does, be the third. If she does go away, then it'd be the third time she showed up. But right. Not, but but listen. Not the third incident of we let her stalking we let her in me. both the first two times. So you let her in. Kim, I as a matter of fact, that's not true. Who let her in? Well, she was sitting on the porch. So how does that mean I let her in? Okay, I don't know. So, <laughs> um, okay, regardless of all that, look, there's no reason to to overreact to anything. That's all I'm saying. I agree. And Eric's not to blame for any of this, Kim, except for his um, non-confrontational nature. He's a little bit to blame for that, but... You've got the same thing. It's so but weird. Kim also has a right to feel safe. This is threatening behavior. I can see why Kim feels threatened. And not because she thinks she's going to come take Eric. But she's fucking crazy. She's already exhibited crazy behavior with another member. I get why Kim is, is a little worried. And I don't think you're being... I don't think you're taking that seriously enough. I'm, I'm not. I'm not taking it seriously. I think it's your stick bristling up. No, Kim's feelings. Eric should be taking Kim's feelings of being uh, threatened. More serious. I mean, okay. I think that you're mashing together like safety threats with like disrespect threats. Or okay, well, I, like but all I'm saying is I'm not, I'm not trying to argue with Kim. Say no, let's have Brittany come here. I think I'm agreeing with her that it's not acceptable for Brittany to come here, and that if she does come here, I'll tell her to go away. If if there persists to be a problem beyond that. Well, maybe we can consider, oh, it's still a problem. What, what does that manifest as or whatever? But, you know, this is, it's a, it's a lot of smoke for a little fire. Shouldn't build fires out of leaves. Yeah. I, I think you're trying to take a nicer approach. I just like a nip it in the bud approach. Like, I don't That's want to. That's exactly what I think. Yeah. yeah. The, the, fires tend to grow for a reason. You know, like, you, you not confronting her is just going to allow her to think that it's okay what she's doing. I mean, we're making That's a true. video right now. Right. She's probably you're watch enjoying it. the media part of this. That's okay. Oh, God. Why can't I enjoy making media? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a win-win situation. So what could go wrong? Well, look, I don't, I don't. Well, this seems kind of. Go ahead, I'll... Matt. We can't hear you though. Oh, good. Oh, it's me. God damn it. Is she as still thing we're really Wow. To do this. Did Eric like freeze? This. He did. I'm gonna go like this. Disconnect. Now connect. Everything will be fine after that. Here's a little waiting music while you're waiting for the video to continue.
Sorry, that was the waiting music while I was getting back connected again. I had to play some waiting what? music for the people who were watching the video. Is, it, is that what your life is like? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much. That is kind of like my life. Yeah, that's my life. What are you talking about? You're like a cartoon character. Does that sound haunt you in between yes. thrusts? It does. She says that before you're even done. <laughs> That's the sound of me humping, Kim. <laughs> no, that's. Uh, 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 uh. Oh shit! <laughs> Katie, what's the sound, Mike? It's not. It's not even true. No, I'm <laughs> what does their sex sound like? Not Abe can do it. Yeah, mm. Abe can do it. She says. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what your sex sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> Abe does a good one. Like, How does Abe know, uh, though? Uh, 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 <laughs> he doesn't know. I think he just guessed. From my, I was under the assumption that he did know, and then I found out he didn't know, and I was like, oh, well, <laughs> you do. Foot cramps. <laughs> but Eric was yelling. <laughs> <laughs> he gets Charlie horses. Uh, That's what we told Katie. <laughs> but I figured it out when I was on the front porch and your guys' window was open. And I was like, going, what is that noise? And then it was like, oh. God. oh. I remember that because she uh, hit me up and we did a little video chat uh, in our private up here in room and she's like outside smoking a cigarette with the cat she's like I have to sit over here and wait because they're having sex. I was in the backyard yeah. <laughs> and the window's open. <laughs> I would pay to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> like Katie just sitting there like so uncomfortable like you can't well, just go into the room and be like yeah. can you you can hear everybody everywhere in that house, so there's no hiding anything. <laughs> what kind of shit does Eric say? <laughs> Stop being non responsive. <laughs> Flip over. Yeah, no. I don't say a whole lot. No. Here and there. Oh! What's but on occasion, it's something really ideational, like take my slide. Yeah. Yeah. Just meh. Meh, 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 meh. Kimberly, I'm, I'm, I'm cramping. Kimberly. <laughs> you did that. That was, that was a good impersonation. That was Ken. <laughs> Okay, that's great. Caroline. So the, fuck, the fucked up thing now is that if I ever get a foot cramp during sex, <laughs> I think of Eric. Yeah, you will get cramps sometimes. I don't get foot cramps so, so much during every sex. Every now and then, I think of you during sex and it fucks up my flow. <laughs> <laughs> Happened this morning. Wow. Just imagine being me during sex. That really messes you up. With the with the periodic need to shout out meow meow. <laughs> so you don't have bet, any, like. You I bet any, like, that that's just sure. added to it. I bet you just locked that in. I... What'd you say, Matthew? That you don't ever like do a lecture during then. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> yes. No. Yeah. You ever now? Yes. You yes. keep talking. You ever <laughs> use your voices like? Who is it? Ramona or oh, the gay uh, one? Rubeth. Rubeth. I can relate. It's me, Rubeth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Would you he like never to explore your sexuality life? 
Carol and I are going to explore our sexualities. Okay, then we've got Darren. That's the voice he uses when he wants to get pegged. Yeah, okay, mm-hmm. then we've got Darren. Hi, Miss Lee. Welcome to the massage parlor tonight. I'm Darren. I want to just read off this disclaimer. I will not engage in any inappropriate touching or sexual advances upon you. I know now that I'm not supposed to do that anymore, and I'm not going to do it again. Okay, that's just out of the way. Just formality. Anyway, can I get you to take your clothes off, please? <laughs> oh, and then it's hot when you break that rule. Uh, Kim, Kim won't let me play any of those games. I have been basically... I'm like a monk sworn to silence now. Can you do the Mexican one? <laughs> <laughs> He's not Mexican, Kim. He's Puerto Rican. Okay, do him for them. Shut up. I can't believe it. No, it it's me. I come from the beautiful land of Puerto Rico. Beautiful land. Beautiful land. It's beautiful bays and beaches and large breasts. Okay, I'd say you got about a 50-50 chance of girls liking that one. Oh my god. Yeah. He, tra- he pulled all of those on me for the first year. It was like, god, it's I can't! Irish. <laughs> Irish. My bad. Oh, yeah. you have an Irish one too, don't you? I don't have an Irish oh, one. Oh no, the, oh, the, the, Jew, the German guy. Oh, you don't, you hate him so much. I know, I hate him all. Yeah, it's me, International <laughs> Delight. I'm here to have sexual intercourse with you. <laughs> Oh, you're a very lovely lady. It's get it on, as they say in America. So there's that one, and then am I missing any? Oh, I'm sure, but I don't even remember. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, have a, I have a pretty good Irish one, and both she and my ex-wife have insisted I talk in my Irish accent during sex before. <laughs> How about like a leprechaun? <laughs> Which Thank gets you. old after about not very long. I don't think I do Irish. Uh, I, thought you, I thought she just wanted you to talk in it, but she never actually had sex with you. <laughs> no, she's, oh. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> she, she, it's like an all day thing or something. Oh, she, she had some requests. Like when we went out at night, but that's a different thing. Oh. We went to the bar or something. She's like, you should be Irish all night. That's different from the. I wonder if we you should fuck me off. like a boondock saint. Would you, you think you could pull it off? You go out drinking, pretend you're from Dublin, and everyone believe you for a whole evening. Oh, I have. I've done that. You yeah. have. It's it's tiring though. Yeah, I mean, I haven't done it for a whole night. I've done it for like a half an hour block, and it's just too much like FE awareness. Mm. But Taylor, how's your? I'm trying to find it like by being part of the band. Yeah. I said I was a musician and I was opening for Jack Johnson tomorrow night at the Blue Note. Did it work? Yeah. Wait, I thought in that story you convinced the girl that you were Jack Johnson. No, I was opening for Jack Johnson. You told me a different story. Did I? I'm not that ambitious. <laughs> I was right. wrong, so it, I suppose my memory could be fucked, but... No, I thought it was opening. The first time I heard it, because I was like, what woman who has any awareness of who Jack Johnson is would mistake Taylor for that mm-hmm. guy? Because if, if she doesn't know what he looks like, like, it's not... I don't know what he looks, looks like. like. <laughs> what well, I'm saying is that if she didn't know what he looked like, it sure as hell not your voice confusing her. Oh, see, I, I would have done Jack Johnson, but the problem was I was at the dorms. Obviously, Jack Johnson doesn't live in the dorms, you know? Or is it no, visiting his buddy in the dorm? He's a lot like, he's very bohemian. And, I don't know, he wears flip-flops and jeans on stage. I mean, it's like... He, he's probably an ATP. I know that one song. Oh, Taylor, yeah. <laughs> That's how it gave me the idea. <laughs> we enjoyed the concert. It was, it was pretty good. You know, he, he doesn't have a lot of diversity in his songs, but... No. Um, all the other ones are boring as shit. Yeah, he's all right. But he he fucking filled up the Hollywood Bowl pretty good. I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah and like girls it. like it like that. Music. It's definitely a date night concert. Yeah. Right. And in two thousand five, he was pretty big thing. The guy that uh, dropped off that desk today um, was his roommate in college. Or th- He's probably just saying that to you, Eric. <laughs> That's a red flag right there. No, it's, 
it's it's her her friend's <laughs> husband. Me too. It's her friend's husband. <laughs> Oh, well, he's married, so he can't hit on anybody else. <laughs> well, his wife was right there, and so was I, so... <laughs> I don't think, uh... I don't think he was hitting on I think I think you're underestimating the potential skill of Herbert. I think you really need to take a step back and consider this term. The potential skill of, of her suitors, you're saying? I mean, first of all, Herbert, that's a fake name. I've never pretended to be gay, too. <laughs> so I bet that would be fun. <laughs> like that Bloodhound Gang song. It would be more challenging to pretend you're a woman and get her to have her first lesbian experience, only to say surprise at the end. But just go dress <laughs> like that. Go dress like that, but just by, by sheer force of, of narrative. Look. And and I, I gotta level up one level at a time. Convince <laughs> her you're a goat. And get her to dabble in bestiality for the first time. That would be quite an accomplishment as well. So, you ever had sex with a goat before? You want to? Well, where's the goat? The goat. Your sense of cringe is broken. <laughs> Well, you know, I'm just saying that might be a good pickup line. Have you ever had sex with a goat? It might be. Why don't you go try it? Wait, what do you mean the sense of his sense of cringe is broken? Yours is too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you're saying not you're saying not knowing what creates cringe. He's saying I was I'm misapplying the metric that I'm using for other instances <laughs> of of. The, of tawdry talk is not being equally applied in my own instances of tawdry talk because if it were, then I would be overloading on tawdriness. No, I think you make a good point. I mean, somebody could have good goat game. It's true. You know, it could work. It's probably pretty easy to hump goats. It's harder to hump women if you are a goat, though. If that's really going to be something that you're ideating upon... Just keep that in the back of your mind. Try try to avoid verbalizing it. Thanks, That's... Ken. I will. You've always given me good advice. Um, it's one of my few functions. Yeah, you also, got, fuck you. You've got that kind of like scoldy mom quality to you. Which I appreciate. Yeah, yeah, no, it's like a cartoon conscience or something. Like the anxiety cricket. You always scold me when I'm talking too much, or interrupt you, put me on check, pull out the kin stick. That's hot. The kin stick. I feel confused that you're relating me to a scoldy mom, considering you're with Kimberly. She's... I don't know. He does kind of like that, that vibe. Well, I don't like that vibe. I don't like the scoldiness part, really. Uh, well, well, from Kim, necessarily. I like it from Are Kim. Are you sure? Uh, I, I mean, I like the... I like more pat on the back mom and less kick in the ass mom because I tend to get an ass kicking contest with mom at that point. Which, which, I mean, which, which form of F.E. do you prefer, Eric? Is it... Well, Eric. when it comes to scolding, anyway. Is it the, is it the form that's like, Eric, you fucked up when you did this? Or is it the... Eric! <laughs> he probably no likes difference. that. He never differentiates the two. No, I prefer the form that goes, Eric, we both made mistakes. Let's parse out whose who's fault what is. Yeah, that's not Effie. Yeah. Playing a different game. Sorry. Oh. I, li I like the part that goes, it's okay, big guy. I still have faith in you. I believe in you. you Chin up, you'll do fine next time. Rather than, you fucking idiot, you fucked up, you loser. I don't say that. I mean, I always thought that I didn't like particularly emotional or FI people <laughs> until I realized that at 30, every relationship I'd ever been in was with an FI user. So I must like it in a way that I don't recognize. Well, it's pure. It's Something's drawing you to. 
But I was using it as a parallel to maybe you like. I like a little bit. Of, a little bit of yeah, being talked down to. I don't mind it about shit that doesn't matter, like SI stuff. You know, that's fine. But the thing is, I want to be patronized positively, not negatively. You think? I know. Uh, lots of girls think they want nice guys. No, but listen, I know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's... I, I prefer... There's no need to bust my chops, because I'm busting my chops already more than you're ever going to successfully bust my chops. Just... I mean, this community is one of the cornerstone you know, activities is busting your chops. Yeah, I've noticed. Except for Brittany and Matt here. With their sucking faces. <laughs> Taylor, listen. All you I'm just saying, made bestiality jokes, okay? All I'm saying is... <laughs> I don't want to hear it. That I think a lot of people... I think that in general, people, students, adults, whatever, including myself, Gosh. are either kicking the ass people or pat on the back people. And you're either one or the other. You respond poorly to kicks in the ass or you respond well to them. You respond poorly to pats on the back or you respond well to them. Some people, you pat them on the back and they get all soft and they get all coddly. Other people, you, you kick them in the ass and they just, they get all resentful and, and yeah. But everybody responds well to one of them. Which one do I respond to? What? Do I need, if I'm doing something wrong, do you need to like coddle me or like kick me in the ass? Does he a kick in the ass or a pat on the back? What motivates me more? Yeah. Are you in the ass? <laughs> How about you, Matthew? Right. What are you? Kicking the ass or pat on the back, person? Um, probably not too much pat on the back, because then I might get a little uh, soft and lazy. But I'm more, I'm more towards, uh, but I'm more towards pat on the back. Then towards kicking the ass. Then kicking on the ass is phone dies. Yeah. Ken, Ken, how about you? Do you need a kick in the ass or a pat on the back? If anyone's going to be kicking me in the ass, I want it to be my own self. I see. That's okay, Ken. You'll do better next time. Chin up, Tiger. How about you, Jane? You want a kick in the ass or a pat on the back? I was thinking. I'm trying to be honest. Jane's more of a whip girl. Yeah, I've never been wrong, so uh, but I would think that I would want to kick in the ass. Okay. <laughs> but probably not. I don't Jane, know. That, Jane, that sounds like a phrase uttered by somebody that needs a good whipping. Washington, but I think Taylor... You? Washington, you, you think you're a, a... If you can hear me, if you're there, are you a pat on the back or kick in the ass person? Which do you respond better to? He's a kick in the Not kicks in the ass. They're, yeah, I've watched you kick him in the ass repeatedly for hours. Yeah, I mean, he's an immovable object. It's kind of a weird question to ask, though. Who really wants a kick in the okay, ass? Okay, but it's in it's response not... to failure. Like if you if you fucked up, and do you and you if you're fucking up a little bit, do you need? Are you more likely to respond well to encouragement to do better or to scolding for doing poorly? I think I only respond to, I, I don't respond really to either, <laughs> but I would respond to a pat on the back when I'm expecting a kick in the ass. Right. Like Taylor, think, this way, whatever, you, whatever the pat on the back is, it needs to be comparable in terms of intensity to the kick in the ass. Because if we're talking a pat on the back again, okay, you're sure, like, hey, sure. Get up there. Yeah, you know, it's. Get Matthew keeps trying to talk about me. Let's talk about me. Go ahead, Matthew. I was just saying, there. I think you maybe had a good point there with like the unconsciously wanting the kick in the ass, potentially, because even though you don't like it uh, on the surface, it does give you something constantly to uh, worry about and be concerned about and think more about and wonder what you should do about it, you know? Yeah. Ass or back, Spacey? Ass or back? Any? Um, I, I, I guess I'm a pat on the back person. Mm -hmm. 
I would guess that he's also unmotivatable. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, even if he's only motivatable by... Oh, yeah, that's the problem, Eric, is nothing motivates me. Like... ESFP says, kicking the ass is more effective, but I always hope for a pat on the back. Hmm. Crazy, crazy. Crazy. What, what, if I, what if I put quaaludes like on a stick and held them out in front of you? Well, that might work for like, you know, the first quaalude or two. What if I keep switching up drugs? Maybe, yeah, maybe you can keep switching it up a little. You're best motivated by self-interest. You swine capitalist, you! You're supposed to be caring about other people first of all. Yeah, money is made from taxes. <laughs> it's, it's a ledger, you guys. Money's a ledger. It's hey, a Eric, ledger. that anti capitalist guy that you were uh, screaming at yesterday, did, had you just met him? Yeah, I just met him. That was my first <laughs> meeting. <laughs> He's pissing off the master, Matthew. Uh -oh. We can't have the master upset. Yeah. Welcome to off. my world. <laughs> that was we must eliminate video. the problem, Matthew. No, it was, I enjoyed making that video. That was a fun one. Yeah, I know, Eric. You had to watch it ten times. Today. I didn't watch it ten times. You know what, Kimberly? Not everything has to be about you, okay? Thanks, Ken. I appreciate it. See, Ken's policing you. I don't care. It's your, 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 your <laughs> that, could be, that could be a fun dynamic. <laughs> <laughs> keep Ken around. <laughs> Put a check on that shit. Naughty. You got one, okay. Um, I'm out of cigarettes now. Oh, we're, we're making a video. So, Brittany... You got, of, you got plenty Oh of shit, kicks. this is recorded? Fuck. You got plenty of kicks in the ass. Um, you know, pat on the back too. It's all good. Relax. You know, I don't come here to my house, but the point is, don't feel bad about yourself or anything. I know everybody can be a little bit mean sometimes. I, I, you, you cannot be disrespecting Kim like that, though, because I have my clear-cut loyalty to Kim, regardless of anything else. And I, she's absolutely right that if she wants to object to that shit, then I got to back her on it 100%. So I do. And you got to understand that and respect that. But at the same time, you know. Thank you for the admiration. Yeah, thank you for the admiration. <laughs> and if you do come to my house, you're not going to be let allowed in. Okay, so don't come here. And if you do, bring a present. You're still not going to be allowed to come in. Okay. Um, she, she showed up in the video chat the other day. She was like partying at some uh, bar or something with some, uh, what? some dude. Well, there you go. See? She's yeah, that was... She's got all the stuff I mean, she needs right now. Okay. She's got, the other guy's got a 10 foot long dick too. Well, then why don't you remind her of that and tell her to go after them and not yours? She needs to leave your 10 inch long dick alone. Okay, well. Well, Kim, then stop. <laughs> okay, regardless, that's the end of this video. I hope there was an adequate bat pack, bat pack, 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 pass. <laughs> back pat mixed in there because I don't want to be mean. I don't like being mean. So. <laughs> There you go about that. <laughs> Don't forget to eat plenty of cheese. And any last words and thoughts of blessings and good cheer upon the world or anybody? Which kind of cheese should I eat? I would suggest any and all. I would suggest cheddar is the first start, starting spot because it's a good starting spot. <laughs>